Hello, and welcome. Uh, it's been a while since I did a series, isn't it? It's, it's It has been a while, and I've been basically trying to cover the uh, deluge of, of games, of demos, of, of uh, keys, stuff. Stuff I've been I've been getting nonstop, and there've been a lot of really interesting games coming out lately. And uh, I appreciate your patience if you subscribe to me for um, traditional roguelikes. I know I haven't really been doing traditional roguelikes lately, but I I, I want to get back to it. I, I always planned on getting back to it, and I still do plan on getting more Caves of Cud up there. Uh, I should be able to get some up this week. But hey. Rift Wizard. This has been one that's been pending for a while. Uh, I always wanted to do a Rift Wizard uh, series. It's a very interesting game. It's a game with a lot of depth. It's a game I hope to get better at because honestly I'm not very good at it and so this is going to be a series um, in which you definitely see my growth hopefully uh, as a Rift Wizard player. So let's let's see. We're gonna do a normal game. Also I meant to show you um, Beast Theory zero of 498 monster slain um basically we're, we're on a fresh fresh track fresh um install basically and this is the new version and there's been quite a few um updates since i last played it so this should be a very fresh uh look at this game welcome back wizard to the ruins of the universe aeons past while you slumbered you have slept walked uh, across many worlds. The universe, once ordered and beautiful, lies in chaos and ruin. And you as well. You were a great wizard once, but your magic and your memories have faded. Your purpose you remember. Revenge! The dark wizard Mordred is nearby. Perhaps he is what's, what woke you. Uh, regain your power and slay Mordred. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Here we are. Here we do. This is it. This is what we're doing. Um... The first thing we're going to want to do is learn a new spell, because currently we have none. Uh, oh, we have icons now for our spells. That's kind of nice. That definitely gives me a better uh, idea of what I'm buying. Um, there's a, there. I mean, there's easier builds than others. Um, when I first started playing this game, I tried to make like a summoning build work. Um, but I'm not, I'm not sure if that, that one's easier to do or not. We should all. We could also learn a new skill, maybe. I'll oh, probably not actually. I think we only have a certain amount of points. We have one SP, and uh, you one SP means we can learn one spell. What I wouldn't. What I would like to do, if we could, is um, find out what our next our next zone is, and then maybe plan around that. So the next one has fire spells, spell upgrades, and passive skills. Or we could have a ruby heart that would give us in, uh, more health. That would be good. Or another ruby heart, an ether dagger. So I, I kind of want to plan for spells. So what, why don't we take ourselves a fireball spell? A lot of people would uh, maybe, may, I don't know, maybe consider that to be one of the more basic spells, but there are no basic spells in um, Rift Wizard. Everything has depth to it. Deals nine damage to units in a two tile burst. What do you mean a two tile? Oh, I see. So, you know, what I wouldn't mind doing is uh, trying to group. Oh, I see. We, we've got a we've got a spawner over here, a back gate. That's going to create problems for us. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and kill our first bat. We're going to have to deal with that back gate soon, as soon as we can. We're, um, we're going to be using up quite a lot of spells, at least a lot of fire uh, fireball spells. If you don't know how R Rift Wizard works, it's a little bit different from other, other roguelikes, other traditional roguelikes. Um, basically, every spell has a certain amount of usage, a, a certain amount of uses. And um, at a certain point, if you don't... Uh, basically take a mana potion you will just use up that po that that uh, that spell so now we have eight spell uh, eight uses of fireball left that's it that's all we got that's all she wrote for for fireball um obviously you know we can take a mana potion refresh charges for all of your spells i think the 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 correct play is probably to try and get more spells 
sooner. Um, then, and then when you use your mana potion, you get more charges overall for it, for each. And what I would like to do is spawn up here. It's probably a good idea to go spawn near the goblin gates and take care of them right away, but I would like to spawn on the fire circle. And this is going to allow us to learn more uh, fire spells, I think. Um, does it? What does this one do again? Spell upgrades and passive skills are one SP cheaper. So we have three SP. Those are those blue orbs that we pick up, and we that we did pick up in the last floor. So we could learn something like Ghost Fire. When in it, whenever an enemy takes dark damage and fire damage in the same turn, summon a burning ghost near that enemy. So you, there's a lot of recursive kind of um, spell combos in uh, Rift Wizard. If you're very smart, you know how to take advantage of that. But if you're like me, then it, the whole thing kind of comes across as, as, you know, dark wizardry, you know. So let's, uh, we could upgrade, for instance, we could upgrade Fireball, and that would allow us to upgrade it to something more interesting. Fireball randomly deals arcane, holy, or fire damage. If a unit is resistant to one of these uh, damage types, fireball deals the damage type that unit is least resistant to. So that's interesting. Um, so we could, I, this, this, this is actually new. I didn't realize we could upgrade a, uh, a spell to do different kinds of damage. Uh, but I think it would be good, a good idea to learn other magic. Um, probably we should take the full advantage of this this uh, fire circle and maybe well we could learn a really really good spell like fire drake for instance but that only has two charges and so we're not really getting the most bang, bang for our buck when it comes to it comes to that sorry there's a cat that need, wants attention now and uh, you know, damned if he doesn't get it holy fire um, deal 22 damage in a uh, in a vertical line and 22 holy damage in a horizontal line. Stun demon and undead units in the affected area. That could be good. Definitely I want to take a fire spell. We're doing that for sure. Uh, I want to get a fire spell that has more than, you know, a few charges. Deal 35 fire damage in a 6 tile burst around the caster. That's not bad. 6 charges isn't bad. This has 6 charges as well. We could learn uh, one, um, two SP, and then one, one SP. Um, detonate target wall tile. Enemies adjacent to the wall tile take 12 fire damage. The explosion fires 12, 16 shards at random tiles in a four tile burst. Each shard deals 12 physical damage. Um, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, flame gate maybe, but it's only got four charges. Deal 35 fire damage in a six tile burst around the caster. That could be good. That's good in a pinch. So let's take that. We'll take that and we're gonna take a one cost spell if we can. Melt, 15 charges. Target unit takes 22 fire damage and loses 100 physical resist. Interesting. Um, 18 charges, deal nine fire damage to all units in a cone. This spell can be channeled for up to 10 turns. The effect is repeated each turn the spell is channeled. All right, I think I understand how channeling works. Every three turns deal 15 fire damage to a random enemy unit in line of sight. Could be good. Um, all allied units gain stacking six damage bonus to their fire and physical abilities. Deals 12 arcane and 12 fire damage in a seven tile line perpendicular to the caster. Melts walls in the affected area. I think I want to take something like melt or maybe fan the flames. Yeah, let's take fan the flames. All right, so we've got plenty of spells now, all of them fire. It's not, not a great idea to um, like double and triple down on a uh, on on a single damage type, you kind of want to spread out a little bit. But um, we're doing we're doing this. So if we took throw down a fireball here, that'll get rid of all of them. You have to I think you have to do an extra damage to these twigs, uh, or else you run into problems. I'm gonna go ahead and leave them for now. 
fire burst. Let's do let's do a fire burst. That's that was a nice chunk of enemies I killed there. Oh, I just did a little bit of damage to myself there. Okay, let's kill them, folk. Uh, let's do another flame burst. I think that would be good. So I gotta make my way over to those um, goblin gates. Do as much damage to those as I can. It's okay, those ma those skill points don't take any damage. So we're out of fireballs. So now we have to start using um, cones. It's okay. Remember, we, we want to make full use of our spells before we use a mana potion because that way we're going to get the most bang for our buck. We could do another flame burst. That would be, wait, is flame, is, is it inside? No, okay. So let's, um, we'll move, we'll take a little bit of damage. That's okay. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna move in and we're gonna do flame burst so we can try and get rid of it. Oh, that, that got rid of, got rid of the goblin gate right away. Nice. Um, we're not quite, we're gonna have to move forward a bit, take a little bit of damage. We're gonna do a fan the flame so we can get rid of both of these goblins. I'm gonna be using a lot, probably the mouse, a lot, to um, to cast spells. It's just a little bit easier. Can we do? Oh, we couldn't do it. Okay. Um, we're just just out of the way. All right. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to use a. Oh wow! I I missed. I used. Uh, I, I wasted a spell a little bit. Can we can we reach it now? Yes. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to wait. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. We can channel this spell, right? The effects... The effect is repeated each turn the spell is channeled. Oh, interesting. I don't know if that means we end up using it more or if we're just, like, continuing the spell. So we still have to kill these Spriggan bushes. Those are, those are things we got to kill. I think they will, they don't do anything, they just kind of uh, like sit there and they'll, they'll, they'll damage you if you stand right next to it. But, um, you know, we, we won't give them that opportunity. I was wondering if maybe there's a way I could uh, damage both of those, but no. Alright, so we're going to pick up our mana potion, we're going to pick up our memory orb. We have another three skill points to spend. We could spend them at this fire sigil as well. Um, fire circle, sorry. So we could learn a new skill. That'd be kind of nice. Whenever an enemy takes dark damage and fire damage. Well, that's not applicable to us yet. Whenever you cast a fire or, or arcane spell, gain star charge with duration equal to the spell's level. Star charge deals six damage to one random enemy in line of sight each turn. Uh, of sight each wait what and six arcane damage to another so gain star charge with duration e okay okay so you gain I, I gain some passive damage whenever I cast a fire spell that could be good whenever you cast a fire spell with range greater than zero deal 18 fire damage to the targeted point ah that's kind of nice That would work with half of our spells. Sure, let's take that. We'll deal a little bit of extra damage. We should probably upgrade some of our spells as well. Uh, change the destination of all portals in the current level. We're definitely going to want to pay attention to where our next uh, thing goes. This one, we have a white candle shrine, so we could enhance fire or conjuration spell, a holier conjuration spells. Uh, that's probably, you know, an order <laughs> doubling down on fire. I might take that. Um, Sphere Shrine enhances orb, enhances orb spell with two, plus two max charges, plus four max range, plus nine minion health. I don't know about that. Enhances fire or lightning spells with half of all lightning damage dealt by this shrine is redealt as fire damage and vice versa. Interesting. So we could enhance all of our spire, fire spells to also do lightning damage. Limit one shrine per spell. What does that mean? Limit one shrine per spell. Oh, I see. So we can only enhance one spell with that. Can be applied only to sorcery and enhancement spells. What? That doesn't make sense. 
Wait. Um. What what of our spells are sorcery? Okay, so fireball is sorcery. I think they're all sorcery. Okay, so that that is applicable to basically any of our spells. Um, I'm kind of interested in that. The chosen spell summoned minions. Oh, okay, so this is for summoning minions. All right, let's uh, let's check out this rift. I still haven't used a mana potion if I can help it. Let's just go straight for the shrine. Um, half of all lightning damage dealt by this shrine is redealt as fire damage and vice versa. Um, flame burst, crackling attunement. I think I want something with uh, range, so maybe flame burst. Flame burst would be good because I intend to use that when, when basically there's only a lot of enemies on the screen. We could possibly use it to take out a uh, Spriggan Gate right now. Let's uh, let's wait a little bit and see if we can't get a, a couple more enemies in, in line. Yeah, that, that's not bad. Okay, that gets rid of one of those gates. Let's um, make our way to another Spriggan. Into new another flame burst. Um, unfortunately, we're gonna have to do like another one or I fan the flames. I, I opted for flame burst. We're gonna have to use our mana potion pretty soon. Uh, I'm just about out of spells. Could move a little bit. Ah, oh, right. Oh, these guys take a little bit of extra damage to kill. Uh, we have 20 health left. This is not good. All right, so we're going to have to use our first mana potion. So now we have our spells back. Um, I'm going to use flan Fan the Flames whenever I can, I think. I really want to go and take care of that other gate. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of extra damage just so that I can reach the gate while I fire this Spriggan. I don't know how to channel. Is it just waiting? Yes. Let's do a flame burst. All right, so we're not doing terrible. I am, I, I do have very little health. I have a healing potion I can use if I need to. I would rather not if I, if I could help it. These Spriggans are bad for having to use up like two spells at once. Let's use the fan in the flames because I think we will save one charge. All oh, right, that deal, it dealt like a little bit of extra damage. All right, so let's grab um, all of the stuff on the ground. Um, don't, don't get upset with me if, and this is going to happen, um, if I end up dying with a lot of consumables, I will have consumables when I die. There's just no helping it. I'm not good about knowing exactly when to use my consumables. I will try hard to, to not die with all of them. <laughs> but, uh, an evil and dangerous artifact capable of corrupting creation, a wise wizard would surely only use it in the most dire of circumstances. Ooh. So this is this has a conjuration circle and some healing potions. This has a hand enhances conjuration spells with plus 50% num of number of summons, plus three minion duration. Interesting. Um these evil fairies and giant gray mushrooms. I can't remember what they are weak to. Um, I think maybe iron imps are not weak to fire. If I was to guess, I would assume that some of these guys were weaker to fire. Neither of these are great. Uh, I think I'm going to take the one that gives us more healing potions. Ooh, very open area. Nasty. Um, let's go, like, where the most enemies are. 
So I can do a flame burst and get rid of a lot of them at once. And then, oh, I guess that's that, that gate is just barely blocked. Oh, they, they have ranged spells. Okay, that's nasty. Um, let's do a flame burst. Okay, that's one gate out of the way. Um, you might notice I'm still not uh, healing. I know, I'm pushing my luck here. I really am. Okay. We're gonna conjure Fan of Flames um, until I, I am going to take damage and then we're gonna do a Flame Burst. That works out pretty well. I'm gonna do another one. I think, honestly, we could channel a Flame Burst in this direction and that would work out pretty well. And then we'll do a Flame Burst. We'll do another flame burst. This is working out pretty well, actually. We're out of flame bursts. I want to. I want to um, prioritize the imp because they do range damage. Get rid of that last little dude there. And that was that was pretty good. We we managed to hold off a lot of group, a, a lot of enemies. In that, these guys are going to split apart, unfortunately, every time, forcing us to cast more than more spells. So I guess the best way to deal with them is fan the flames, because then we can channel. I really want to get rid of some of these extra gates. Oh, you know what? I should cast directly on it because it does more damage. Oh, that was a werewolf. I need to get over there. Oh no! Oh, he charged over. Oh, I, 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 I flew too close to the sun. Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. So that's what you. That's how you don't do that. Um. All right, well, that's that's gonna do it actually for our first episode. I wanna, I wanna do like one run per episode. It's it's gonna it's gonna end up being longer episodes down the line, but shorter episodes in the beginning. I definitely could have healed there, but I, I was pushing my luck and I didn't realize that those guys could charge me. So I'll, I'll try and retain that information. Uh, absolutely, if you have some tips that are like relevant to what you saw today, then maybe you can throw those in the comments. Um, and thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. If you want to hit that like button and subscribe, it helps a lot. And, uh, yeah. See ya. Take it easy.